What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is an oracle card reading for the sign of Leo for mid-April um, on. So just let you guys know. Uh, we're at April 8th, 2022 right now. So, I mean, for some, it could start resonating now, possibly. For some, actually mid-April, which is April 15th on some later than that um there's millions of billions of people in the world and tons of leos so um you have to plug yourself in wherever you resonate if you do resonate one message may resonate two plus may resonate zero may resonate um possibly this could resonate if you have leo in any aspects to your charts sun moon rising venus or no and hey of your charts um thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel you guys are just the bomb.com i love and appreciate each and every one of you guys uh, for supporting a single mama two kids one of her income streams i truly love and appreciate you guys we're at 12,090 subscribers right now so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel 12,090 so thanks so much you guys are just the best i got one channel message in as i was meditating on your oracle card reading for mid-april of 2022 so i'm going to share it like I said, this can resonate. Uh, this is for the sign of Leo. So this could resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Hamer, Jupiter charts. Okay, so the channel message I received was, um, they want you to shut up. That's what I heard. They want you to shut up. That's exactly what I heard, and that's the only one I received so far. They want you to shut up. So one of you guys is ruffling somebody's feathers. But I think it's in a positive sense for you. I think you're speaking your truth or speaking the truth about person, people, place, or situation. Um, and it's ruffling people's feathers because they don't want the truth out there or they don't want something exposed um, that they're trying hard to hide or they have hid um, because it might implicate them or it's going to implicate them. Um, however, that resonates in one's life. But I heard they want you to shut up. So... Um, but I, whatever Leo I'm speaking to here, I don't think you're a shut up kind of person, masculine or feminine. I don't think you're a shut up kind of person. And I think whoever uh, wants you to shut up, I think they know this. It's the crazy part. I, I mean, I didn't hear any of that. This is just my logic, intuition, and reasoning. I think they know you're not a shut up kind of person. I think this is what they loved about you. But now it's not benefiting them. <laughs> or... It's not, yeah, I don't think it's been, I think at one time it maybe it benefited them. Um, but now it's not. So now they want you to shut up because it doesn't benefit them. Because whoever you're dealing with here, Leo, um, either in current energy or past energy, they're very, very, very selfish, greedy people, whoever they are. So um, you plug it in however it resonates, however that resonates. Many shocking series of chain events are about to occur in the universe. For many Leos. One Leo's name is about to be vindicated in a huge positive way. Okay, many shocking series of chain events are about to occur for many Leos. So many of you guys in the universe. Um, however this plugs in your life and however it applies, only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard one Leo's name is about to be vindicated in a huge positive way. Um, now for anybody who doesn't know, vindication is basically... Um, absolving your name into a positive light i think somebody drug your name into the mud in like a um defamation of character kind of way um possibly for some of you guys and um either your name i heard your name is going to be vindicated so i think um somebody either like i think they either forged your signature or frauded you or they stole from you or they def or defamation of character or something like that somehow they took your name and your reputation and they tried to smear it i feel very publicly um but at least one of you guys's name is about to be vindicated soon so absolved and um from the wrongdoing and um your name set positively into the universe through some kind of shocking series of chain events in some shape or fashion now whatever these shocking series of chain events are only you know your story not anybody else so maybe you're going to create these shocking series of chain events to absolve your own name vindicate your own name or maybe someone else is going to only you know your story not anybody else so you plug it in how it resonates 
spirit messages do you have for Tana Leo? Someone knew they were messing with the wrong one in the past, but it was greatly benefiting them financially. However, it has backfired on them in a huge way. For some people, two plus people. Okay, I just want to show you real quick. I was channeling, so I didn't want to move. But as I was shuffling and I got that channel message, the cards just exploded all in my lap, all over the floor. Several of them, as you can see. So I think somebody is emotional over you, Leo, or you're emotional over a situation. How that resonates. Energies can be reversed. Or you're dealing with someone with addictions. Or you have addictions. How that resonates. Because when the cards explode like that in a reading, everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason. And so it can really indicate emotional instability either in you or someone you're connected to. Or it can indicate addictions. You having addictions or someone you're connected to. How that resonates. Um, it can go both ways. How that plugs in your life. But um, you plug it in how it resonates. But um, anyway, so spare messages here have Leo. So yeah, so I heard um, so someone was trying to drag your name into the mud. Basically, they were trying to drag your name into the mud. Um, someone was benefiting off off you in the past. Someone was benefiting off you in the past. Who, whoever you are, spare messages you have reflected financially. They were benefiting off of you. But I heard it is hugely backfired on them. Um, and it's going to continue to backfire. And it's going to continue to backfire as much as hard. So, okay, yeah. So, that would make sense. So, one of you guys was being used in a huge way, financially, money-wise, monetarily-wise. Somebody was stealing from you. They were stealing from you in a huge way. But I heard it has backfired on them, and it's going to continue to backfire. So, um, you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Oh my gosh, and look at the first, we have three that popped out this time, and I'll take them. I want to show you what we got. We got these two, I don't know if you can see them, these two, and we've got this one that popped out with the fury. Rat, someone is working against you behind the, behind the scenes. Yeah, I felt that energy in here um, with the channel messages, and then it's confirmed with the cards. Um, someone was stealing from you in the past financially, but they can't do it no more. And now it's backfired. It's going to continue to backfire. I think it's the same person or people that's working behind your back because they want to use you. They want to use and abuse you, but they can't do it anymore. Now you can steal energy, time, and money for anybody who doesn't know. You can steal energy, time, and money. In this case, they might have sold your energy. They might have sold your time. They might have sold your money. They might have sold one plus of these things. But definitely at least one Leo out in the universe, they were definitely stealing your money. For sure. And I think it's this person that's working behind your back that stole your money because they're pissed they can't do it anymore. Sorry about the cards. My cat spilled water on them. And then we also have Lion, Time to Act, and Rose, Romance is in the Air. Very interesting. I just heard Deuce Scorpio next is what I just heard. Do Scorpio next. Okay, I'll do Scorpio next. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I think one of you guys is dealing with Scorpio. Um, because I just heard in Leo's reading, do Scorpio next. So I think one of you guys is dealing with Scorpio in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, either current energy or past energy. However, that applies in your life. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Uh, but definitely... I feel definite scorpionic energy either in your current energetic space or in your past energetic space. How this resonates for you, Leo. Because I heard do Scorpio next in Leo's reading. So you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have for a sign of Leo. Success. Holy crap. Success. I feel glad I did to get one more. We had change on the bottom of the deck. I heard um, it has backfired. It's going to continue to backfire. That's um, indicative of five, five, five change energy, which is this. 
Also, number 12 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 12, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, number 12. 555, five, five, change energy all over the place in here because um, we have the time to act energy, which creates change, um, success, which is beautiful, and um, the backfiring of these thieves or thieves um, and abuser or abusers. You plug it in how it resonates. Now, to me, the Scorpio energy um, could either be a positive energy in your life currently or a negative energy in your life currently or a positive energy in your life um, in the past or a negative energy in your, uh, in your past, however that plugs in. But somebody's definitely dealing with Scorpio, I'm feeling. Because why else would it come up in Leo's reading? Spirit messages you have for Son of Leo. Trust. Power. Her, take it. Take it. Oh my God, take it. Okay, so I'm taking it. And that is such, I'm, man, that's a beautiful card. Power. Okay. And they will have expansion on the bottom. I hope everybody is doing well. Sorry about my crazy hair, you guys. Um, number 34, 9, or 11 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 34, 9, or 11. It could be possible ages of children of yours or somebody you're connected to. Possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Um, possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible green card number. Possible jersey number. 34, 9, or 11. A position of high authority knows about hidden camera energy in the past. They are about to contact, one of them contact the feds, one contact local police. It is about to be life changing for you. Know this. Oh my God, Leo. Whoa, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have, it's not Leo. So I heard a position of high authority. So I don't feel it's you. I mean, you could be a position of high authority for some of you guys, but... Whether you are or aren't, whoever this position of high authority is that's about to contact some of the police and some of the feds, I don't feel it's you. You see what I'm saying? So it's some other, it's some kind of position of high authority in the universe. Now, you could be a position of high authority or not, but whoever's about to contact the feds or police regarding a hidden camera, regarding some kind of hidden camera energy in the past, um, it's not you. It's somebody you're connected to. Um, either current energy connected to or past energy connected to. I'm feeling a lot for a lot of you guys, it's probably current energy, but you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, but I heard they're about to contact, it's at least, it sounds like it's at least two positions of high authority in the universe for some of you guys. For some, it could just be one. But it's a definite position of high authority in the universe. I heard they're about to contact, one of them is about to contact the local police, it sounds like. One's about to contact the feds. Heard regarding hidden camera energy in the past. I think one of you Leos had hidden camera energy in your in your energetic space in some shape, form, or fashion. And this person knows you did. Uh, maybe they were a viewer through the camera and they didn't realize it was hidden camera energy, but now they are waking up and realizing it, it is now. Um, possibly. Or maybe they knew all along. I don't know. But whoever, I don't feel they did know is what I'm saying. I don't feel they did know. I feel somebody Put it under a guise like it was like some kind of reality tv show or some kind of um uh show or something but in reality now they're waking up and realizing it really wasn't you were never involved in it that it was actually dark webcam energy no matter what kind of guise they put it under whether it was a reality tv show or what have you and now they're waking up and realizing you were never a part of it uh, you never wanted to be a part of it. That somebody actually implanted a hidden camera and never told you about it. And they created some kind of show or guys for their selfish game. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, one of these people is, one of these positions I have authority is about to contact the police I heard, local police I'm feeling. One is about to contact the feds. For one of them, they could contact both. 
But I heard it's about to benefit you greatly in a huge way. Then whoever this position of high authority is about to contact the local police for some, some the feds. Now feds is federal agent energy. They could contact FBI, CIA, uh, DEA, Drug Enforcement Agency, if there was, I mean, yeah, I guess if there was drugs involved, or marshals, um, however that resonates in one's life. Uh, but I heard it's going to benefit you in a huge way, so congrats to whoever that's for. Number 6 or 35 could be very significant numbers in one's life as well, 6 or 35. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 6 or 35. Rat, someone is working behind your back. Oh, hold on. Wait, I feel guided to do the animal spirit card first. Then we'll do it. Okay, so we have beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation, koala spirit, spirit has a plan. You have double earth sign energy in here. Um, so for a lot of you guys, I feel, like, feel you're strongly uh, dealing with earth sign. A Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. For some of you guys, you'd be dealing with two plus Taurus, Capricorn, Virgos because we have double earth sign energy in here. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, Earth signs are towards Capricorn Virgo. They could have towards Capricorn or Vir Virgo and they're semi-moonizing Venus, North Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. You plug it in however that resonates. Koala spirit. Spirit has a plan. Someone has a very sneaky strategic plan to sabotage you. Know this. For one of you, it's about to backfire in a huge way. You're highly intuitive. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So at least two plus of you Leos in the universe, somebody's trying to uh, sabotage you. Um, so it's like sneakily behind the scenes and whoever is about to, uh, whoever is planning, they have a plan. So it's premeditated sabotage energy. I feel it's already concocted up in the universe um, and I'm serious. But um, I think it's this person or people, and I'm serious about that. Um, but for at least one of you, it's at least two of you that somebody has a sneaky, it sounds like already premeditated, sneaky, strategic, sabotage or type plan against you in the universe. For a lot of you guys, I feel they actually have people working with them, uh, like gang stalking energy or secret saboteur group energy. So in reality, this could be like 10 rat energies or eight rat energies or 20 rat energies. Um, however, it plugs in your life. But I heard for at least one of you, uh, at least one of you guys, you're highly intuitive and it's going to backfire on them in a huge way. So in this instance, this is negative energy, the secret saboteur or saboteurs energy. Um, because they want to sabotage you. Now, however they want to sabotage you, it could be in your personal, it could be in your professional, it could be both. But they don't like you and they want to sabotage you. Whoever it is and however it applies in your life, for some it could be an earth sign wanting to do this, possibly. A Taurus Capricorn Virgo, because um, you've got double Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy in here. Um, I strongly feel for a lot of you guys it might be, but you plug it in how it resonates. But for one of you guys, you're highly intuitive, so I think you're about to pick up on it. Or I think you're about to pick up on it and either energetically separate from this person or only deal with them if you have to. Because some of you might have to deal with them in a workplace situation or you might have to deal with them in some shape, form, or fashion. But it doesn't mean you have to pull, pull, put your energy all up in there. You know, you can answer the questions, do what you need to do. But I don't feel it's somebody you pull in your personal life, or at least God, I hope not. A particular Leo has a wonderful plan, wonderful game plan, saving up money, about to make things happen in their life, and it's about to happen. Well, that's a good one. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a particular Leo has a, a game plan. So you have a game plan, Leo, whoever you are. This is your own personal game plan. So this is spirit has a plan, um, but you have a plan. I think for whoever this is for, you were, you're heavily connected in the spiritual realm. I do. I think you're um, heavily connected in the spiritual realm. I think you're high in the spiritual realm or getting high in the spiritual realm. 
and you are laying like a, I think a five year plan out for your life or just a plan for something in your life, I heard you're about to make it happen. You're saving up money and you're about to make it happen. So, and I heard it's going to happen. Um, but I think you're, you're doing it one thing at a time and it's involving saving up money. I'll tell you that. Um, whether you, it's something that involves putting out money or you just want to save up for your own personal mental security, however that resonates. But I think you work closely with spiritual realm. Uh, for some, you could be spiritual practitioners, possibly. You plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. Positive light side spiritual practitioner, just say it for the second one, for sure. Beaver spirit, lay a solid foundation. But I definitely, I, and I didn't hear this, but I am strongly intuitively feeling this. I feel some of you guys have some, the secret saboteur energy is definite earth sign energy. And I am serious as a heart attack about that. Somebody needs to be very careful of some secret saboteur earth sign energy in your life. I don't know if it's toxic family. I don't know if it's toxic neighbors. I don't know if it's people in your professional life or business. I'm not sure, but I'm feeling it's spiteful, malicious earth sign energy. And I'm just being serious for some. For some, it could be another sign. I didn't hear it was earth sign energy. That's just what I'm feeling. Lay a solid foundation. A particular, uh, through many shocking series of time events, a particular Leo's home is about to be paid off soon. And they will have plenty of money in the bank. And one particular Leo is about to switch banks, banking institutions. Huge injustice done to them in the past. Sneaky, malicious people working in a banking institution and stealing. But they are about to be exposed. Wow. So you, wow, that was a long, strong one. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So. Um, through many shocking series of shame events, one of you guys is about to pay your home off. This, um, so the congrats, whoever that's for. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't wait till I pay my home off. I'm just saying. Um, I can't wait. So, but one of you guys is about to pay your, your home off soon. So congrats to that. Uh, whoever that's for. I love it. Beautiful energy. Um, one day I want to be, be there. I'm just saying. Um, but I heard you're going to be able to pay your home off and have plenty of money in the bank. So something big is about to happen in your life financially. Uh, whoever you are and how this resonates, Leo, uh, something big is about to happen financially. Through many shocking series of chain events is what it sounds like. So the solid foundation in this aspect is making proper financial decisions. Um, you're not, somehow you're about to acquire a large amount of money in some shape, form, or fashion through a payout, a settlement, a um, earned income through a business or uh, employment or what have you. You're not going to go, whoever this is for, masculine or feminine Leo, you're not going to go spend $500 at the bar. You're not going to go speeding 90 miles an hour down the freeway and get a $400 ticket. You're going to um, save the money, make strategic, smart moves, drive the speed limit I'm feeling, um, go home, eat healthy, drive the speed limit, do what you're supposed to do. So you're not, you know, and save your money and pay your home off and have money to spare, which is a smart, logical thing to do. So absolutely. So in this aspect, I think the lay a solid foundation is getting your life in financial order is what I'm feeling. Uh, somebody is, I feel has already started laying the foundation to do that. And one of you guys is about to is what I'm feeling. Only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, but it's really beautiful how, how this resonates um, in one's life. It really is. Um, it, it truly is. And one of you guys I heard is about to um, switch banking institutions, I heard, um, because you realize there was serious injustice done in the past. Um, one, you're about to realize it through communication. Okay, so one, you've already realized it. One, you're about to realize it through communication. So somebody's about to communicate with you about this serious injustice, something to do with your banking institution. I heard someone stole from you, but it sounds like they use people in this bank um, 
probably your local bank, people um, you communicate with in the community, probably not, you know, the whole corporation of the bank, whether it's credit union or um, an actual bank, banking institution. Um, they probably collaborated together to steal your money locally. I don't feel, you know, it's everybody up in the universe, like corporation wide. Um, I feel it's strategic, sneaky, um, saboteur type energy in your local credit union or banking institution that did this. One of you guys is about to learn about this through a phone call soon, I heard. One, it sounds like you've already learned it. But whether you've already learned it or you're about to, it's about to cause you to change your either actual banking institution or your credit union institution. However, that resonates. Um, for some, it could be earth signs, saboteurs that did this crap to you, possibly. You plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. A particular earth sign is about to lose their job soon in a, in a banking institution, credit union. They are about to be shocked. Oh, my Lord. I heard a particular earth sign is, well, I was feeling earth sign energy. That's confirmation for a spiritual realm. So I heard a particular earth sign is about to lose their job. Um, and they work in a, I heard they're going to be shocked. They work in a credit union, uh, some kind of credit union energy. They could have been the secret saboteur that stole your money. And it sounds like they money laundered it through this credit union. Um, whoever you are, I feel you have a credit union account or you did. Um, but I feel this earth sign is someone in your past or someone in your current energy however that resonates, but they knew what they were doing. And it sounds like they worked with many other rats behind the scenes in the past to do it. That's exactly what I'm feeling, but you plug it in how it resonates, but they definitely know you so much. So they want your money and it sounds like they were successful, but now negative karma, they're about to lose their job through the universe because of it. So you plug it in how it resonates, right? Someone is working against you behind the back, uh, behind your back. Nice, nasty energy, current energy. One of you Leos is very highly intuitive. You've already figured this out about several people. Some you're about to figure this out about several people. Oh my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard nice, nasty energy. So anybody doesn't know nice, nasty energy is basically there. It's like front of me energy for sure. They're nice, so nice, and so seem to be so helpful, and so oh blah 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 to your face, almost too blah 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 to your face. But behind the scenes, they talk shit about you, or they steal money from a credit union behind your back, or they secretly saboteur you behind your back. I mean, like it's like no swords and all rays of sunshine to your face, but behind your back, it's like twenty swords in the back energy nice nasty is um so some of you guys have some current nice nasty energy in your current energetic space whether it's um toxic family personal professional what have you toxic family co-workers what have you it's current energetic space uh some of you guys have already figured out these nice nasty people or at least some of them some you're about to figure out some nice nasty people um whoever you are you're highly intuitive you're about to use your intuition you plug it in how it resonates. Definite, um, nice, nasty energy. For some of you guys, you could figure out the nice, nasty energy. The ones that were, um, had this premeditated plan to secretly saboteur you possibly. For some, you might learn about it from somebody else. Lion, time to act. One particular earth sign is very, very upset that a Leo is not sexually attracted to them. Earth sign masculine. It is about to hugely negatively impact their career in a negative way. Oh my Lord, you plug it in how it resonates, dear God. So earth sign masculine energy. So earth sign masculine energy, earth, double earth sign energy. Um, I heard he is very upset. This earth sign masculine, now you can be a masculine or female Leo, but this earth sign masculine is very upset that you're not sexually attracted to him. Oh, um, I heard it's about to, 
negatively affect his career. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Why don't you just get over it? He should just get over it and move on. I feel you might work with this person because I heard it's about to negatively affect his career. He just needs to move the hell on. Go date somebody that wants to, that's sexually attracted to him. That finds him attractive. And I'm serious. So obviously he's working behind your back. He's probably talking shit about you because he's all pissy, patsy, pissy, pee, whatever, because you don't want to have sex with him. Um, he better be glad you haven't uh, slapped a sexual harassment uh, lawsuit on his ass. I'm serious about that. Now, to whatever extent it's happened to you in the universe with, dealing with this earth sign, for a lot of you, are some, these earth sign masculines, I feel they're talking shit behind your back. They haven't actually said it to your face because we have nice, nasty energy in here. Um, but they're secretly pissy, um, I'm feeling, behind your back, but nice to your face. But I heard it's about to negatively affect their career. So maybe somebody's going to stand up. Um, and call sexual harassment on this, possibly, or stand up for you, Leo, because he's being nice, nasty to you. He needs to move on and go date somebody that's attracted to him or wants to have sex with him. Uh, it sounds very sexual here. It doesn't even sound like he cares about you. It just sounds like he wants to get in your pants. Ew. Lion, time to act. Soon there will be a situation to where Leo needs to act very, very, very quickly. Some a significant phone call, voicemail. Some a work situation. Okay. Her soon there will be a situation to where Leo needs to act quickly. Some it is a phone call. So it's like a phone call you're going to receive not at work or business or what have you. Um, where you need to act quickly and some it is going to be in a workplace dynamic in some sh some shape form or fashion so time to act quick action um, um, because of um, I heard a voicemail so it's some the phone call doesn't sound like you're gonna receive it at work it sounds like you're gonna receive it on your off time um, whoever this is resonating with for some you could just have you might not work in their 3d you might not work you might have a business or you might not work, period. Maybe you're a trust fund baby. I'm not sure. But there's two different situations in here. One, you're about to get a phone call and I heard voicemail. So it sounds like you're going to be busy or maybe you're maybe you're using the facilities or something when the phone call arrives and they they leave you a voicemail. But you're going to have to act quickly. Um, and whoever you are, you apparently have voicemail set up on your phone and you're able to receive voicemails. And it's not like full mailbox, whoever that's for. Um, and it sounds like you're going to act quickly. So time to act, take some action. The second situation, it's in a workplace situation. Um, and it's something to where you will have to act very quickly um, in some shape, form, or fashion. So however that plugs in. One Leo is going to, is going to showcase their exemplary negotiating skills. A settlement. It is going to be very worth it. Wow. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Through many shocking series of chain of events. Okay. I heard through many shocking series of chain of events, a Leo is about to showcase their exemplary negotiating skills. And I heard settlement. I heard it's going to benefit you greatly. So time to act in that situation for the third situation is the, um, negotiate I heard exemplary so exemplary for anybody who doesn't know is excellent negotiating skills I mean like five star rating for your exemplary negotiating skills it sounds like you're very controlled in the money department and the logical department when it comes to money um, you know when to spend your money you know when to save your money you know when to buy you know when to hold you know when to Invest, you know when not to invest. You know when to negotiate, you know when not to go negotiate. Whoever this is for, it's really beautiful. Um, I don't feel you're like a heavy gambler energy. I feel you're actually very opposite. Um, not saying you don't like to gamble, um, but I don't feel you have like a gambling addiction. That's what I'm saying. I think you know you're very disciplined in the financial department, whoever you are, but number three. I heard you're about to so showcase your exemplary negotiating skills soon through some kind of settlement energy Heard it's going to benefit you greatly. So that could be the time to act. Um, show, showcasing your exemplary negotiating skills. And the um, someone working behind your back could be them wanting to lowball you possibly. And I didn't hear they wanted to lowball you with this um, 
settlement um, is uh, there's some kind of shocking series of time events. The settlement's going to occur. Um, offer 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 of a settlement's going to occur for you, Leo. Is what it sounds like. But you're going to showcase your exemplary negotiating skills in this, and you're going to time to act on that. I feel this also could go with the um, them wanting to lowball you. I didn't hear they were going to lowball you on the um, settlement, but I feel for some of you guys, they are. Because you're going to have to showcase your exemplary negotiating skills. Well, you're not, you wouldn't have to do that if they um, offered you this bomb.com um, settlement offer where you didn't have to counter back with, the um, with a, another offer. And that's just the truth. So I feel this could be that too. They want to lowball you. Rose, romance is in the air. A particular Leo has a secret admirer. Through many shocking series of chain of events, one of these people will probably say say something soon. Say something to where you will put two and two together that they patronize your business. It will create other series of chain of events positively between you and this person. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow! Leo, you're blowing it up up in here for mid-April's reading. I mean, we're 36 minutes in, but this is a good one. So, okay, so whoever this is for, whatever Leo's this is for, you are an entrepreneur, you have a business. Now, whether you work out in the 3D or not, only you know your story, not anybody else, but you definitely have a business, I'll tell you that. And there's somebody that patronizes your business, but somehow they're able to patronize your business, but you don't know they patronize your business. For some, I feel you could be readers and they are a subscriber on your channel, possibly. Because, you know, we all have, t some of us have 5,000 subscribers, 500 subscribers, 50,000 subscribers. But they can subscribe on here and make it private and not know that they're, sus they're subscribed. So they can patron, and when they watch your channel, that's patronizing your business. So I feel for some, you could be readers, possibly. We are, uh, we're pulling in a little spiritual realm energy, so possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates, but... Somehow, whether it's uh, a reader, Leo reader or not, it is somehow they patronize your business, but that you don't know that they do. And they haven't told you that they patronize your business. Whoever this person is, I heard it's a secret admirer. Um, but I heard through many, some kind of shocking series of chain events, sounds like upcoming soon in the universe, somehow a conversation you're going to have with this person. Now, I don't know if it's through text, messenger, in person, or phone, but however that applies in one's life here, Leo, but somehow you're going to have a conversation with this person. But it's something they're about to say is going to clue you into the fact that they patronize your business. But you didn't know previously they did. Or maybe you suspected they did, but it was something they're about to say is about to clue you in like facts, cold hard facts from the horse's mouth kind of energy that they do. For some, I feel you might have suspected they patronized in the past, but it's something they're about to say is about to, is my point, is about to like seal the deal. And I heard it's going to create a um, positive series of chain events between you and this person. So it sounds like they're about to let the cat out of the bag that they pat patronize your business, but they didn't tell you previously. Uh, but their secret admirer energy, and I think they, um, I think they find you attractive. Um, maybe for some, they want to date you or they're considering wanting to date you or they, um, hopefully they're not obsessed with you. Um, obsession is different than, um, obsession is completely different than, um, uh, you know, liking somebody, wanting to hang out with them, wanting to date them, wanting to spend some positive quality time with them, uh, than obsession. Obsession is control, thinking, constantly thinking about the person, control, um, tactics and like wanting to domineer the person because they're so obsessed with them. Um, so, and I didn't hear it was obsession. I just hope to God it's not. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, but I definitely think they find you attractive. 
Um, and I think for some of you guys, they might be romantically interested in you. Um, but this significant conversation is about to clue you into the fact soon of coming in the universe that they, they patronize your business in some shape, form, or fashion. But it's about to be a conversation between you and this person that's about to um, clue you in. So I think you're positively connected to this person. I think you're positively connected to them. And it's going to lead to more positive series of chain events between you and them. So hopefully, it, I mean, I think it's going to, I don't, I don't think they're the rat. I don't think they're the rat. I think, um, at least God, I hope not. Um, I don't think they are. You plug it in how it resonates. This person is about to hit, hope you out in a huge, huge, huge way with a very serious situation in the past of your personal life. Secret admirer. Oh my Lord. Wow. I heard the secret admirer is about to help you out in a huge way with a very serious situation of the past that was in your personal life um, in the past. So it was some kind of very serious situation of your past in your personal life in the past. Um, they're about to help you out in a huge way. The secret admirer romances in the air person, whether they're masculine or feminine or whoever they are and how they plug in your life. Um, if you're the cross watcher and you're this person, you will, you only know if you're this person. Because I know we have cross watchers on these channels, um, on these videos, and we have actually, you know, Leos. So whether you're this person, the secret admirer person, or you are the Leo, how this resonates. But um, I heard the secret admirer person, Leo, is about to um, help you out in a huge way. They might be one of the ones that's about to call police or feds on um, some kind of hidden, maybe you had a hidden camera issue in the past um, in your personal life. And um, they know about it or they're about to find out about it. And they want to uh, display their positive loyalty to you. Um, and they want, it sounds like, it sounds like positive energy here. It doesn't sound, feel like an obsession. And I'm serious. Thank God. It does not, it doesn't feel like the Mariah Carey song. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, you want to know. It don't, it don't feel like that. Thank God. No, nay, nay, nay to the freaking nay. I'm just saying. It doesn't feel like that, um, but it feels like they do want to you to view them in a positive light. So I think they're about to help you to help the situation to maybe one day y'all can date or make it into more of a positive light. To maybe one day, you know, so you can view them in a positive light. So maybe you can date down the line. Um, I feel for some, they know about hidden camera energy in the past. I didn't hear they did, but they might. They might be one of the ones about to call local police or the feds. But they want you to view them in a positive light because they view you in a positive light, basically. That's what I'm feeling. So you plug it in, how it resonates. That's really beautiful. Success. Number, oh, we went over the numbers. Okay, success. Someone has... Many people have been really viewing your work at your workplace situation. Some people are pissed because they realize you're not dumb. Some people are impressed. Know this. Wow, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, Leo, this is, I mean, there's some good, there's some bad in here, but it sounds like energetically in the universe, sounds like some stuff is about to be balanced out for you, where at one time it was like this stagnant, stuck, toxic situation. And I'm serious about that. Um, but how this resonates, you work in a workplace environment in the 3D, whoever you are and how, whatever, how this applies, to whatever Leo's. You work in a workplace environment in the 3D, in public, in some shape, form, and fashion. You might be a business owner on the side too. You might work five side, side hustles on the job to, uh, on the side too. But you definitely have, I'm feeling it's either a full-time position somewhere or a part-time or a PRN or something like that. But you definitely work in the 3D in the public realm. Um, so much so, you've got a ton of people behind the scenes viewing your work. So I feel you might work full-time and they wanted, um, the ones that are pissed that you're not dumb, um, they're pissed because they thought it was going to be easy. I think these are secretly competing people. I didn't hear they were, but I feel secret competitive energy here. Um, they wanted to check your workout to see what kind of competition you are in the workspace is what I'm feeling. Why else would they be secretly viewing your work at work? You see what I'm saying? 
but they realize you're not dumb and it pisses them off. Um, so that's success for you that you're not looking at looked at as a dumbass. And that I mean, hell yeah. I mean, who wants to be looked at as a dumbass? Nobody. And that's just the truth. Um, so that's success for you, but unsuccess for them because they realize it's not gonna be easy with you because you're not a dumbass. That's for some people. You have a lot of people in your workspace. Um, I feel you might be full time and that's why they're trying to compete with you, but I'm serious. Um, because usually like PRN and part-time people, people don't try to compete with them. I've been in the works work um in the workplace game for a long time. So trust me, I know from many places and many people. The full-time people they come after usually, and that's just true. Um, they don't usually come after PRN or part-time because there's no competition because they're not they're full time and that's just the truth so i feel you're full time at this place so you have a lot of secret people viewing your work they're not telling you they're viewing your work behind the scenes but they are um some are pissed because you're not dumbass basically maybe they were told in the past you are and they're realizing you're not some um they uh they're impressed they're impressed so they were not viewing your work secretly behind the scenes to compete with you. Um, secret competitive energy. They were not viewing it for secret competitive energy. They were viewing it just because they wanted to see, I guess, what kind of work you did. And I heard they're very secretly impressed. So secretly impressed with you. Um, it might be this person. Maybe for some, this person works with you. Possibly. I didn't hear they did, but they might. Possibly. Um, but whether it is this person or not, they are impressed with you. I think they were lied on, uh, lied to and said you were a dumbass because some, some Leo in here, somebody has been lying on you saying you were a dumbass. So much so you have a bunch of people secretly viewing your work at work. And that's just the truth. But I think the success in this situation is um, the real truth being publicly, um, it, these people basically seeing the truth. They're not telling you they're viewing your work behind the scenes, but they are viewing it. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. I feel for some, they're secretly afraid of you. They're secretly afraid of you because they were lied to. And I, they, they thought you were going to be easy, like an easy pushover. Because um, they thought you were dumb for some. And I'm serious. Trust. Uh, also, too, I was going to say, the uh, public workspace um, it actually could be a physical 3D workspace. I'm feeling for a lot of you guys full-time employees in the physical 3D workspace. But for some of you guys, I think your full-time, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, your um, public workspace energy is you are a reader here on, you're on a, on a public platform. I feel you're a reader on a public platform and they are secretly subscribed to you and they're viewing your work and they're pissed because they thought you were dumb. And I'm serious about that. I feel it can go both ways. Because if we're talking about reader energy in here, which we were strong, strongly in here earlier, you can view somebody's channel and not tell them you viewed it and view their channel, view their videos and their public videos and not even tell them that you have watched their videos. So for some, I feel you could be readers on public platforms. So it can go dual energy. Trust. Through many series of chain events, a particular Leo is about to really start trusting a particular individual, a masculine energy, because of the actions he's about to put into the universe. True positive light side actions. It's about to form a bond here between these two people, feminine Leo, masculine energy. Wow, this is beautiful. Holy crap, Leo. Um, whoever this hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. It could be this person, possibly. For some of you guys, I feel it might be this person. For some, it could be somebody else. But um, it's some kind it's some masculine energy in the universe. It sounds like they're you know that saying, um, put your money where your mouth is, actions and not words. That's what I feel this is. Some masculine energy, you're a femme Leo, if this resonates for you. You're a femme Leo, and it's a masculine energy, whatever sign he is and however that he plugs in. Um, but I'm pulling him in strong. I heard he is about to, he's basically about to put his money where his mouth is. He's about to put action and not words. He's about to 
put some kind of action into the universe that's about to create series of chain of events. I heard um, that his series of chain of events are about to make you um, see him favorably in the universe. It's about to make you see him very favorably in the universe. And um, it's about to make you start trusting him in a positive light. So I feel whatever Finn Leos this is for in the universe, I feel you've been betrayed by many by masculines in the past. I feel you might have trust issues with masculines in the uh, with masculines. Period. Uh, maybe you have bad luck in the dating department or just with masculines. Period. I feel for some you might have been abused in the past and exploited in the past, and you just have a hard time trusting masculine energies because they have done you very dirty. For some, it could have been feminine energies that have used and exploited you in the past. But somehow, I feel, um, some Fem Leo in the universe has trust issues with masculine energies. Uh, is what I'm saying. But this particular masculine energy is about to put some kind of positive energy into the universe um, that's about to create a series of chain of events. It sounds like positively for you and possibly positively for him, probably for both of you, that's about to make you see him in a favorable light and it's i heard uh, through many series of chain of events you're going to start seeing him in a favorable light i think it's going to i heard i heard it's going to form a bond it's going to form a bond there so i think that's where the trust is going to come in the bond that's about going to be formed through these series of chain of events he's about to create he hasn't created them yet but he's about to which when a bond is formed that's where the trust comes in so that's why I say that. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow. Power. I heard take this one. A particular Leo has lots of personal power. Lots. They are about to use it in many ways. Many positive ways. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. While this reading is so long, and I'm sorry, but that's where we're at. So a particular Leo has lots of personal power. So, you know, personal power within yourself, power of um, freedom of speech, power of speech, uh, but in a positive light. You don't go around using your freedom of speech. It doesn't sound like for lies or manipulation or anything crazy. Freedom of, um, not freedom, but like personal power in a positive sense. So, you put your personal power out there in a positive sense. You don't abuse, exploit, um, degrade people. You don't, um, you know, you um, put positive into the universe. Um, so in this aspect, this is personal power. I heard you're about to really put your personal power out to the universe in a very positive sense. How that resonates. Through many shocking series of chain of events, a particular Leo is about to get offered an educational opportunity through their company. It is about to be life-changing in a very positive sense for them. Oh my God, this is beautiful. And this could be the trust energy too. Maybe you're going to start positively trusting in your company. Um, how this resonates? Wow. I heard through many positive shocking series of and the success too. Um, a Leo is about to get offered, I heard, um, some kind of educational um, opportunity through their company. I heard it's going to pay off for this Leo in a positive way. And it sounds like not only for the Leo, for the Leo and the company. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates, which will give you power, power education, power uh, knowledge is power, power of education, personal power. That could be where you're putting your personal power into. Um, it sounds like whoever this is for, you're going to accept it, which is going to be the success. Um, and um, now for some, it might come with a contract where you might have to stay with the company for a year or two, just a little FYI. Some of those, if you offer, um, sometimes through companies, if you take their educational, like if they pay for your school um, to further your education, you have to sign a contract where you um, have to stay with the company like a year or two, um, depending on the company and the contract, and et cetera. So just a little FYI, if anybody doesn't know that, because somebody's about to get offered some kind of educational opportunity through their company. but Usually that comes with the actual contract for education um, to stay with the company for a while. So they can, um, it's going to benefit you, absolutely, but it'll benefit them too. So you just won't up and quit on them when they invested all this money in your education. So it's like, helps you and it helps them. So um, just make sure to read your contract very carefully. 
if this resonates for you. It hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. It's in some kind of workplace situation, but that'll give you power. Knowledge is power, education. Um, it's not going to make you put out, put out, put out. I feel for some, you probably wanted to go back to school, but you couldn't afford it with, um, you know, home expenses, mortgages, rents, car payments, um, gas money. And so this is really going to help you, give you personal power. And then this will be um, power maybe in your company um, to move forward, maybe down the line. And then trust, um, trust in the process kind of energy. And then it'll give you success um down the line i'm feeling when you graduate um or complete the certificate or program or what have you um and success for the company how this resonates this is really freaking beautiful um but i feel you've got some haterations um if this reson that particular message resonates for you i feel you definitely um you got a lot of people watching your work a lot of people some people are impressed they uh, so much so i think they're going to offer you this contract um, I didn't hear it was a contract, but I'm feeling it is in your workplace. Um, so you can continue edu your education. For some, it is, um, they're just pissed because they were told you were dumb, but they realize you're not dumb. So much so, somebody's got some secret saboteur energy. I'm serious. Let me see if I hear anything else. This was a good one. Holy crap. A particular angry ex-husband is about to become very significant in a Leo's life and a particular person that is about to be jailed. They never thought they would be jailed. Oh my Lord, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God. A particular angry ex-husband is about to become very significant in a Leo's life. So maybe it's your angry ex-husband, Leo, or somebody you're connected to is angry ex-husband, but somebody's angry ex-husband is about to become very significant in at least one Leo's life. So you plug it in how it resonates, whether it's your angry ex-husband or somebody you're connected to's angry ex-husband. Angry. So um, that could be the rat for some of you guys. Um, and um, I heard somebody is about to be jailed soon and they never thought they were going to be jailed. For some, it could be this angry ex-husband that's about to be jailed and they never thought they were going to be or somebody else that's about to be jailed and then they never thought they were going to be. So you plug it in how it resonates. All right, well, I'm getting out of here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages or the reading, please share my videos for, um, on your social media. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much and namaste.